In the words of the immortal poet, bitch, I'm back out in my coma. Everyone, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Um, hi. I'm back from my two-week break, naturally. Though it was more like a month for some of the LPs just because of the videos that I posted and the way that I posted them. Everybody gather around. I've got our orders. The target is on Galia's northern coast. Okay. Sure. The enemy's entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. Man, they are coming in from every angle. Like, you'd expect them to have the decency to advance from the points on the map that they actually control. Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Mm hmm. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes up steeply. Their camp is at the top. Nothing like an uphill battle. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. That said, they've lined the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. I've noticed he has this, like, tick, almost. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? Boss... I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. I bet the trans that are who wrote that's feeling proud of themselves. Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. He's got a point, but... Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You don't gotta... I know that, all right? You're right. If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Welkin? Any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? <laughs> hmm. Sorry, but I don't have any silver bullets for this one. What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. Cool. A way to blind them. I'll poison them all. Ah, uh, this is just great. Come on, let's stay positive about this. Tomorrow's the feast of all spirits. Mm-hmm. I'm bad on the feast, huh? We sure got some kind of luck, don't we? <laughs> well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. I'm glad that he's like a party member now. Hmm. We may not need nine lives. I've only just noticed this, but the reason that they like kept... I've only just thought about this. The reason that uh, Squad 7 was capped to 19 instead of a more logical number like 20 or 18, being round numbers and evenly divisible and even one higher or lower is because they wanted to put Zaka in and they didn't want to make sure that we would have enough room. So they're just like, you'll just have 19 until the halfway point where you get Zaka. But he's not going to leave the party anyway, so it may as well not count. Um, but something that I was thinking about is now, like normally we have nine or 10 or whatever guys in a unit. And now we have enough to like have a fight. Like, I, I only just thought about this, but, like, what if there was PvP in this game? Like, what if you could have Squad 7 fight against Squad 7? I assume in, like, a non-lethal training thing, but... All right. Man. A lot of cutscenes. A lot of cutscenes. Somebody said tomorrow's the feast, right? I forgot all about it this year. Anime World War II will do that to a motherfucker. Hey now, do you guys even know the reason for this holiday? Oh, brother. Reason? It's the day you give presents to the guy you like, ain't it? <laughs> yes, but no. The feast of all spirits. She's grown on me a lot. Spirits and Galia share their love. They say the practice of giving gifts to those you love came from that belief. Back in the day, people gave presents to everyone important to them, not just lovers. Bingo! Give the man a prize. For a big grizzly bear, you sure know your stuff. Oh, man. How gracious of you to say. <laughs> Though I like to think I'm more of a teddy bear. This guy's awesome. Margo. Rosie. May I have a moment? I'm going to turn the guys up one more. They're a little quiet. Sure. 
Surprised to see you in the lounge. What's up? Aw. Would you accept these gifts? <laughs> They're cute. Kind of silly. This is from before. These dolls are darks and good luck charms. Oh, I but to give them to you and Rosie. Is it like culturally he would have no way of recognizing what these things are? And so to him, like, he only just recognizes them as the dolls that they've pulled out of like concentration camp, burn down buildings. Why to us? I, I've always wanted to be your friend from the first day. <laughs> Boy, you sure can't pick on me, Sara. We may have had our share of disagreements, but you've helped me more than I can say. I don't know if I would say disagreement. I'd like to use the like as an opportunity. Hey, I think that Wilkins kind of a smart guy. Well, I think that your race shouldn't have rights. It's not what I would call a disagreement. Maybe that's just me. Oh boy. You know, seeing Fausen gave me a lot to think about. Yeah, that'll do it. Plus, I, you know. Are they going to do like a thing? To talk to you for a while now, too. I don't know. I maybe maybe this is just me, but I did agree with what Welkin said about how he's like supposed to be a grandpa. For being so young, you got some perspective. Still a little bullheaded though. Thanks for the lucky charm. And for coming out here, Isak. Meh. I guess they're kind of cute. Largo. Thank you so much. I... Stop saying I. I can't take it. <laughs> Rosie, you ain't a kid here. I assume she means I can't accept this gift, but... Just seriously, I'm at my limit. I can't take it anymore. You shut it. I just... Look, I got no need for presents from dark hairs, okay? It's like she's doubling down on it. Like, she's she's being confronted with the actual facts of how no one else is as racist as she is. With how, like... Like, she she's perpetuating the, the ideas of people who are ruining the world actively. And she's doubling down, which is a real thing. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll be on my way now. Good time to fake your death. Yeah, I think I'm done too. <laughs> Ruin it for everyone. Look, I know you've been wanting to apologize. Just out and say it already, damn it. Look, shut up. I know, okay? I know, but I... I can't just change overnight. I'm not that big a person. Why not? I like how all these are added in a row and then this one is clearly I can't select it but that one is clearly the big fight or presumably the big fight now that squad 7 is getting bigger and there's like it's just we, we have enough where we can see we have enough development for Isaro where we can conceivably follow her as a main character um like, I feel like we're going to get way more of the little asterisk chapters. Like, in the chapter where, where um, the party was split, you know, Isara is now uh, enough of a main character to be the protagonist of the, the home team. And then, of course, Welkin and Alicia can be the away team, and we can get more development for them on their own separately. Um, but that now we're starting to get to a thing where, like, Largo and Rosie are also getting enough development to be protagonists instead of like secondary Welcome. characters. <laughs> Just got back from my ass eating seminar. Hey. Oh, God. What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Why does Piggins have a, have a, anyway, a medal? <laughs> something I want to show you. Man, the map behind Alicia that highlights how fucking tiny Gallia is compared to everyone else is really sobering. Come see. Look real close at my hand. Oh, is it going to be a pig egg? 
Oh, wow. That's you found a model vagabond. Jackass. <laughs> They're migratory butterflies, but they shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. Did she have a? Did she find like an egg or a cocoon on her on her clothes when they were? Uh. It's pretty rare. Down explorerizing. They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but I've never had any luck. These two, I swear. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. My <laughs> You and Hans? Wait, is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got. I like her little bug. hair thing. I've I've commented on it before, but like it really breaks up her character design in a very very good way. Cause like w like obviously the the regalia of Gallia, the the military dress is blue, the army is blue, you know. And like this is anime, but most people don't have crazy hair colors. But Welkin's design is solid because the blue and white and then the little bits of, like, brownish gray complement him. But you want to get the, the red and blue color schemes, but she's still in uniform. So she has all the accoutrement and her, and her hair thing that make her feel like her character, her primary color is red. Even though everyone's primary color is blue because it's a uniform. I mean, tomorrow's the feast of all spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. Aww. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. I gotta say, I do really like um, the armor plating. I've been thinking about it again, like, God, the way that the armor plating just, like, sticks on the outside of your fancy clothes looks wow. really sweet. Thank you. I gotta say, we've lost the ability to maintain drip in war. Like, you look like... It's more than 100 years now, but, you know, back when I first noticed this phenomenon, it was 100 years ago, but... Now, like 110, 120 years ago, wars were fought with enough style, you know? Trying to outstyle your opponents was Not a... Was a, a uh... gift ever, but it seemed right for you. Oh, she's outright saying romantic. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Really? Aw. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Welkin? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. Oh, man. We're getting JRPGs now, boyos. I hope things go well for the two of us. I, I mean... Huh? I... Me too. Kiss already, damn you! Sweep those bugs off the desk and give them to the passion. Oh, man, that's missable? Crazy. Tomorrow, Isara's commitment. So, yeah, it looks like they're they're pushing Isara more. And now that we have another Darkson in the party, like... Especially one who has lived in a concentration camp. Because, like... Isara says, hey, don't be mean to Darksons. They have a hard lot. And, like, she grew up rich. She grew up with a, with a, a cool dad who was respected by everyone. And had a, a semi-sheltered life. And Rosie sees that. She's like, well, whatever. And now we have a guy who, who has been in a concentration camp for the past couple, what, years? Maybe months? They were there long enough that they were getting sick. So it, I, don't, I think it's more than weeks. So now they're going to be pushing that, like, Isara-Rosie fight. Okay. I remember earlier that they were talking about aeroplanes. I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. They they give them such a benefit of the doubt. Is that like a is that supposed to be like a like a like a personality trait shared by the Darkson people? No, I I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No. <laughs> Don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. <laughs> People don't just change overnight. 
That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. This isn't relevant to this conversation, but I love the dorky way that these tanks look. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. <laughs> what plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide... Are we going to smoke them out with an airplane? Because I, I didn't forget that. Don't you worry. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. I, I want more, like, games with this kind of weird setting. Where it's like, it's kind of World War One, kind of World War Two, Like... The, the the rise of that new shit is still evident, like like the 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 advent of the conical bullet or the advent of gunpowder in general are like both interesting things in war that I don't see people talk about because they want to talk about like hardy entrenched you know European theater in World War II. Like almost every war thing has been World War II, and then a significant other chunk of it has been. Goodbye. Vietnam, I would say. Hey, Isara. That might be because I live in the United States and a lot of the stuff that I'm exposed to is United States related. But I also don't even know if other countries make a particularly large amount of war movies, which would mean that even though, yes, my sample size is primarily predicated on the United States. And she's gone. You know, not many other people are doing it. Hey, he's doing that thing. I guess it must be like a like a generic animation that they just have. Those two really are siblings. I think I want to say it's in Devil May Cry three. With the way that they animate Dante's hand, uh, the first two fingers are open, but these fingers are joined together. I don't even remember if it's covered by gloves, but like at no point does Dante ever need to separate his pinky from his hand. And so, in order to make the model easier and simplify the textures, they just join these together and have a little a little crease on the texture. But these two are split off so that he can air quote and he can give the finger and he can point. And he can do that thing where he has like his fingers on the guns and these are pulling the trigger. That's what that reminds me of because like I don't know if we've even seen these two fingers separated in this hey, game boss. as well. So it might be a thing where like they just join those two together. There was this... Also, this isn't relevant, but, like, it'd be funny if none of these characters had feet. Because there's a Fire Emblem game where they didn't model anyone's feet. Because at no point it, do you see people from the, the knees down. And so, like, if you just look at those models, a lot of them don't have feet. And, like, sometimes they do because they have an aerial shot or, you know... They just decided to put the effort in, but sometimes they just don't have any. Last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done. Getting some sip. You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Cool. Smoke rounds? Interesting. Are we getting new ammo types? Oh, I guess the um the the tank can change ammo types, so maybe that's what we're doing. A new type of tank cannon rounds. Bingo. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. I love making guesses. It's my favorite fucking thing. If we run through those. We'll be able to move without being sighted. Interesting. Can you just finish them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? The sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka. I love that he's Mr. Zaka. Little Hans, too. I don't want... None of you can die. I will not permit it. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little... Isara seems to be warming up. She's been very, like, chill and, like, quiet and, like... Maybe not intentionally like Rei Ayanami from Evangelion, but maybe a little... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Sweet. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out. 
I love I love the use of um the the tanks and the gear in these games. Okay. Long cutscene time. Here is a brief on the task at hand. Hello again, Captain Verat. Missed you. Hefty defenses along the top of a sheer rock face. Your only path lies across this beach. Begin at this entry point and work your way to the enemy camps. Occupy the base camp. Climb the slopes leading up from the water and make a beeline for the camp. Two things to look out for. Enemy machine gun emplacements along the coast. Yippee. Use tank as a shield and use the smoke screen rounds coming if you want to arrive in one piece. Interesting that now we're doing like regular tank stuff. Because like typically in a video game, like a fantasy game, the class tank is somebody who doesn't do as much damage as a DPS, but has things to mitigate damage. And now we're doing things where like, we have the health to take bullets, the party doesn't, so we throw smoke screens down in order to let the party take bullets. That's interesting. And then we have concrete defensive bonkers. Oh boy. Incredibly resistant and will take... Oh, so we, we gotta get through them though. Uh, attack the gun of the front or rear door. They may have backup shots, stores of Ragnite fuel out the back. A gunshot could set it off. If your shock troopers have classed up to elites now... The what now? I know that we've seen flamethrowers and we've seen guys using them, but I didn't know that we unlocked flamethrowers. They're also effective against crouching foes. Oh, interesting. So. Welkin and Zaka are at both of these. Which one has Welkin and which one has Zaka, though? Let's make this the classics. I think that makes sense to me. And then this can be like my, my off team. We're fighting Imperials still, so. We have an NG over here, we have a sniper over here. So let's get it let's get a second shock trooper. Yeah, so now that we can have ten guys on a team. Now let's we're gonna have like we could have ten guys on one team and ten guys on another team. And we could have them fight. Clear out the Imperial shoreline. Because if I remember right, squad seven squad is seven. twenty Move people out. total. Oh man, it's getting excited. Here we are. Welks, aim the smoke round. Don't worry, I know. My shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. That's right. Shway? This is our first off with you, Zaka. Good to have you. Wouldn't miss it. Now let's go sock one to the Empire. I fucking love you, Zaka. <laughs> awesome. There's a, um, aw, oh shit. Got him backwards. That's okay. Way ahead of you. All right, let's scooch you up then. So we've got Gatling and the Irma T1. So that gives me 30. And that gives me seven. And these are those concrete bunks, I assume, that they mentioned. Fire. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. Oh, Enemy sighted. Elite scouts. So we're getting elites now, huh? Yippee skippy. The smokes plus a blast from a mortar, grenade, or anti tank lance mm. will blow it away. Gotta love nature. Isara smoke one. That's fun. Now. 
So yeah, I think putting it there and then having people sneak through it. Because this is cover. The tank is cover. The rest is not cover. And then we can use Alicia to, like, actually scout as well. Try not to let your guard down. I like that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good effect. Enemy unit spotted. Go, go, go. All units report. Oh, interesting. I'll pop this just to just to have it. I'm taking extra special care. Yay. Just so I'm at full. I figure I may as well, you know, if I'm not going to be shooting guys. All right. I have we? We managed to avoid the threat. I feel like that's a little preemptive. Just watch this. Sorry to say. So what happens if you shoot these guys? Invulnerable gun. These idiots must have a death wish. Loud and clear. The problem is that I'm going to need to get all my slow guys up. And this is almost a full move for most of them. I don't know why I said full, because I mean two moves. Hmm. Yeah, this could be problematic if the smoke rounds don't uh, survive this. I guess we can just do another smoke round at the start of next turn, but... <laughs> Is that Cree Summers? The squeak in her voice makes me think. Where shall we end up? Does it seem like you can break through? How are you doing on ammo? I'm gonna throw a grenade over here just cause. Why? Why though? Okay. I'm on. So yeah, I'm hoping that the smoke will last at least two turns. Also, the fact that Zaka's tank is a little faster is interesting. Hmm. This, I will say, this is a, a, this was a cool mechanic, but it's a little annoying because, like, doing turns where you're just moving guys up every turn and, like, that's kind of it, is a, is a little, a little boring, I'll say. It's not as cool as it could be. You know what I mean? All right, I think I should push Zaka up to the left path and just have him just stake that shit down. Entering combat. Now. Hope your eyes aren't getting hurt or anything. Whoops. Sorry. Leave it to me. Yeah, okay. So we'll push up Zaka. Enemy sighted. How's their manpower now? Yeah, I think I'll just I think I'll just have him stake down this point. Maybe not from that far up, but
<laughs> My man. Okay. Using my big man to scout, I can see that we've we've got some tankery over here. But that's fine. The hunt begins. This character is so cool for almost no reason. Like she's cool for her own sake, but she's just like it's so crazy that like just this random like attack girl is just this super wild like scary like this thing has a date with your head <laughs> word dreams considering that i could cap this point it might be good to use the thing to like kick someone out and then kick him back in I will say, I also am, like, finding a little bit of offense with people's throwing arms. Because as I'm having to get more and more tactical as the game goes on, I'm I'm getting less and less use out of grenades. Get ready to die, imps. Fresh meat bow. Shock Trooper. Taking the stage. I'll have her go... Why should I, enjoy seeing dirt? I love that voice line read so much. I'll have her go this way. Um, just to support these guys. This is, this is a weird thing where, like, I have started to cut out you're enemy turns. Wrong. Or, you know, just not show... Marco, you're the only man. Not show yeah. enemy turns. Because, uh... They they are boring and and stuff like that. And initially, I was just like, I've only seen a tank over here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave uh, Jan and maybe Largo over there. But then again, it might be good to put Largo over there just in case. Yeah, I'll have him go this way. Actually, I'm not even gonna be able to put a tank through here, so. Maybe let's push up Rosie more. Let's do this thing. New target sighted. Enemy sighted. Go down. Knock some of that off. Damn. I also wanted to reposition her so she's not going to get shot in the back by Jane in case anyone comes this way. Um... But yeah, this might be a weird thing where, like, I also stop showing my own turns just because, like, like, that was a turn where very little happened and I didn't have that much to talk about either. And so maybe it might have been better to, like, Under light fire. it might be better to just, like, scooch through those. And it's a problematic thing because, like, what should I be doing? You know, should I be showing that stuff or should I, should I not? Like, what what is the intended game experience? And you know, when you have an LP, that's sometimes not always what you're going to get. The challenge is good. Found us an enemy. See, the problem with with Zaka that I've just realized is his tank is awesome at killing guys. Which is which is not what we're doing. All right, enough fooling around. We're under fire here. We're... Like those those weapons are not good at killing my opponents. Entering combat. Okay. If I can, I'll get the engineer over to him. Come on. Brand over Jan's toes there a little bit. Perimeter, 
Okay. Might be good to have... Um... Oh yeah, also I've just realized I have not boosted a lot of the, the Chamrock stuff as much just because I haven't had the chance. And that's a medium tank as well. Hmm. Maybe we should have Largo go this way. Then again. I'm on. Enemy sighted. New target sighted. Here I come. Those sandbags deserved it. Largo, your ability to aim is abysmal. Consistently bad. Oh, but we can also shoot the tank from here, so maybe we can flank it. Just try to stop me. See, a problem that I'm getting into now is that I do not have the, the gusto to kill this guy. Much better. Much, much better. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now the second he takes his turn, he'll get lit up. Just what I need. That's literally exactly what I could possibly want. The hunt begins. The fact that this name, the Shamrock, is so interesting to me. Okay. I think she's out of range of both that guy, and the second his turn starts, I think he should get lit up by everyone present. I'll try my best. I will have her patch this tank up. And then maybe it would be good to go have Welkin get patched up. Thanks, buddy. Or just be on standby to patch Welkin up. So what's going on over here? Nothing I haven't seen. That's fine. Um, Here we, go. we could just have the Edelweiss pop it again. Those treads are going down. Yeah, and I kind of I, I want this to be forward so it can be cover for everyone else. Um, so ordinarily I do cut my episodes a little longer, but I wanted to get a drink and I kind of have to pee. So I'm going to cut the episode here. Uh, I've been out for this Monocular Chronicles. What is this? Part 24? Yeah, 24. Um, hot damn. LP has been going on a while. Uh, I think we're past the halfway point now. So it's all down here from, all down here from here. Uh, and we're past the two week, uh, break that I took. So thank you all for coming back. Um, but I've been out for, I'll see you guys next time. It's been Valkyria Chronicles. I had a good time. I hope you did too. Bye.